Teachers are some of the most important people in our world as they educate and mold the future of the world. And there are some teachers who stand out either by defying stereotypes or going above and beyond the call of duty. Here are 10 teachers you won't believe exist. As we hit the books, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a moment on The Richest. Oksana Nivisolaya. You might think that Oksana Nivisolaya might be an aspiring model or some sort of social media personality, but her occupation is rather surprising as she is a math teacher in Minsk, Belarus. Her social media accounts are full of the teacher posing as a model and looking breathtaking. Why does she do this? Oksana wants to prove to the world that someone with beauty can also have brains, and you can be smart and sexy. While she has gotten criticism from people saying she isn't being a good role model to her students, Oksana keeps doing her thing. Andrew Ward at Turner High School in Kansas City, Kansas, Spanish teacher Andrew Ward managed to make a positive impact on his students with something so simple. Every day, Andrew walks into the door to say buenos dias to his students, and much like Kramer from Seinfeld, when he opens a door, Andrew says the Spanish greeting differently every day. Two of Andrew's graduating seniors secretly took a video of his greeting and made a compilation video at the end of the year to show Andrew how he positively impacted them. Patrice Brown Patrice Brown is a fourth grade teacher based in Atlanta, Georgia, and she has curves that go on for days. While one might think that this is an asset, it has brought on a world of trouble for Patrice. As nearly any outfit she wears, whether it's a dress or a t-shirt with jeans, it is accused of being too sexy. When photos of Patrice went viral, she was nicknamed Teacher Bay, and the term was even turned into a hashtag. But despite getting criticisms, Patrice focuses on her students and has persevered through the incident. Michael Bonner. In North Carolina, second grade teacher Michael Bonner was looking for ways to motivate his students to pass their upcoming reading test at South Greenville Elementary School. Instead of going the traditional way of offering extra playtime, a pizza party, or even a movie, Michael told his kids that they could make their own music video if they got positive results. Once that was achieved, Michael collaborated with his students to create an epic hip-hop music video to celebrate their achievement and to encourage others to reach for the stars. Brandy Young in Fort Worth, Texas, a letter from teacher Brandy Young went viral after she announced to her students and their families that they wouldn't be assigning any homework for the school year. The only homework the students would have would be any classwork from the day they didn't finish. Given that homework is synonymous with school, this was a pleasant surprise for the students. Instead of doing homework, Brandy encouraged parents to use the extra time to spend more moments together as a family and just let their kids be kids. Nicholas Ferroni High school teacher Nicholas Ferroni went viral after he found a way to teach sexism in lawmaking when he had his students vote on new ideas, with the majority of the classroom focus group being female and a small number being male. In the real lawmaking world, 80% are men and 20% are women. But this isn't the only thing that makes Nicholas stand out. He was also named one of the 25 fittest men in the world by Men's Fitness Magazine. Brittany Darris Brittany Darris is a teacher at Rampart High School in Colorado Springs, Colorado, who was devastated to hear that one of her students attempted to commit suicide. After being informed of the incident, Brittany wrote a letter to the student while they were in the hospital, and the student's outlook changed for the better after the reading of the letter. Realizing the positive impact that her letter made and not wanting to hear about another student wanting to take their own life, Brittany spent the next two months writing cards to each of her students, all 100 of them. In each letter, Brittany told the student what was special and unique about them hoping that it would make a positive impact. Christian Foley. Christian Foley is a teacher at the Cardinal Pole School in Hackney near London, who has found a way to engage the interest of his students by doing something unconventional, rapping. His students started taking video of his lessons as he taught math and poetry to his kids. During moments in between, his class can be heard erupting in cheers. Outside of school, Christian is a well-known person for his work in the contemporary poetry world and even does work as an MC on occasion. Sonia Romero. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, Sonia Romero is a kindergarten teacher at Lou Wallace Elementary School, and she goes above and beyond the call of duty. Because she works in an area with low-income students, Sonia goes the extra mile to make sure they're well taken care of. When her students arrive, she will ask them if they've eaten breakfast, and if they haven't, she will feed them. Sonia also keeps extra socks on hand, as well as jackets, scarves, toothbrushes, hats, and other snacks. She has even been a foster mother to two former students when they had no place to stay. Sonia's students are certainly lucky to have her as their teacher. Sarah Domris. Sarah Domris was an English teacher at New Berlin West High School in Wisconsin who had a relationship with her 16-year-old student during the 2014-15 school year. 
The two became friends and started texting each other, and things escalated from there. The pair had sex multiple times, with one of the encounters even occurring while Domris' husband was out for his bachelor party. Domris also sent the boy sexy selfies while on her honeymoon. After police found out about the affair, text messages were found where Domris called the student Baby Boo and told him that she loved him. Domris pleaded guilty to two counts of sexual assault. Dion Yance Dion Yance was a PE teacher at Alan Dini's High School in Florida who had sex with her 17-year-old student in September 2015. She had initially told her victim that she could no longer look at him because all she would think about was having sex. After a high school football game, Yance picked up her victim and took him back to her apartment where their relationship reached a new level. She also sent racy Snapchats to several students. After the school got wind of some suspicious activity, police intervened. Yance was found guilty of unlawful sexual activity with a minor and sentenced to a year in jail. Nicole Wilfinger 37-year-old Nicole Wilfinger taught math at Mulaski Junior High School in Nevada when she began a sexual relationship with her 14-year-old student, even coaching his soccer team and babysitting his 7-year-old sister. But when the school's principal found out that the student had Wilfinger saved in his phone as best friend, suspicions arose. Police were called, phone records were checked, and houses were searched, resulting in police finding a journal that Wilfinger used to document her sexual encounters with the boy. Now the Las Vegas teacher and mother is facing multiple charges of sexual assault. Laura Garrigus 30-year-old Laura Garrigus, a wife and mother of three, was a teacher at Cumberland International Early College High School in North Carolina when she engaged in an affair with a 17-year-old female student. The relationship began in October 2015 and ended a few months later when the student reported Garrigus to the police. In December, Garrigus resigned and was arrested and charged with four counts of taking indecent liberties with a student and two counts of sexual offense with a student. She was also banned from having contact with her own children. Mary Beth Haglin Mary Beth Haglin was a substitute English teacher at Washington High School in Iowa when she had an affair with a 17-year-old student. She claimed the student seduced her by writing her sweet post-it notes and leaving them on her desk. The pair had a relationship for six months, having sex almost every day in her car. After being spotted doing the deed by another student, Haglin was fired and charged with sexual exploitation of a minor. Chase Tonar a former choir teacher at Merrill High School in Wisconsin has found himself in hot water after having sex with a 17-year-old student three times in May 2016 and then twice more after he resigned as a teacher. The student told her therapist about the encounters who then reported it to the authorities. Tonar is facing multiple counts of sexual assault. Charlena Lee Wilson 33-year-old Charlena Lee Wilson was a teacher at Selma High School in California when she had sex with a 15-year-old student. The encounter was caught on video and then passed around at school as well as on social media. Even though Wilson was married, that didn't stop her from initiating the relationship with her victim when he was just 14 years old, and they had sex on multiple occasions, including on school grounds and field trips. Wilson was arrested and charged with rape and sodomy. Von J. Cannamore Von J. Cannamore was a teacher at Charlton Heston Academy in St. Helen, Michigan, who had sex with one of his students who was middle school age. In July 2016, Cannamore pled guilty to two counts of criminal sexual conduct with a student. He would often pick up his victim as she snuck out of the house and the two would have sex at his house. Canamore faces up to 15 years in prison. Alexandria Vera Alexandria Vera was a middle school English teacher who had sex with her 13-year-old student and got impregnated by him. Their relationship started after she met the student during a summer school session and the student later contacted Vera on Instagram. According to Vera, the student's parents approved of the relationship and even allowed the young teen to spend the night with Vera. 
After announcing her pregnancy to the student's family, they were supportive of that as well. However, Vera decided to have an abortion after social services showed up to the school and questioned her about the relationship with the student. Vera was charged with sexual abuse of a child and faces 25 years to life in prison if found guilty. Olga Garza in late 2016, an Edinburgh teacher, 53-year-old Olga Garza, was arrested and charged with injury of a child after trying to force-feed a four-year-old. Garza, who could be seen in surveillance footage of the classroom pinching the little girl's nose, causing her to gasp for breath in an attempt to force food into her mouth. Garza claimed she was concerned for the child's health as she wasn't eating, but a teacher's assistant told investigators that she begged Garza to stop at least three times. She held the girl for about 33 seconds as she struggled to move away from her. Lamont Houston 31-year-old Lamont Houston was a teacher at Lincoln Middle School in Florida when he met a young student there. The two began exchanging inappropriate text messages, and in June 2016, he picked her up from her home to go for a drive. They engaged in sexual intercourse several times in his car before the young girl found out she was pregnant. She told her parents about the relationship and Houston was charged with sexual battery of a child, lewd behavior, molestation of a child, child abuse, and impregnating a child under the age of 16. If convicted, he could face up to 15 years in prison. Galina Kovalenko at a boarding school for troubled teens and orphans in the Ukraine, 52-year-old Galina Kovalenko was struggling with debt and thought she'd found the quickest way to pay it off. Kovalenko taught Russian and Ukrainian language classes along with literature at the school and targeted a 13-year-old student as a part of her scheme. She sent photos and medical records of the girl to a buyer willing to pay over $10,000 for her. Kovalenko wasn't selling the girl into the sex trade, however. She was attempting to sell the girl's organs. Thankfully, she was caught and the girl is safe. David Standen 66-year-old David Standen, otherwise known as William Peter Standen, was the principal at Goulburn St. Patrick's Cathedral College in the 70s and 80s. While in charge of the school, he recently admitted that he'd assaulted at least seven boys. He also admitted to assaulting 11 other boys at another school. He was the dormitory master at the time and would summon the boys, mostly around the age of 12, to his room for discipline or extra tuition. He would instruct them to bend over his knee as he smacked or rubbed their bare bottoms. He would also watch them in the showers and punish them with a leather strap. Standen was arrested in August 2014 and stood trial in early 2016. He was later sentenced to nine years and two months in jail for his crimes. Tanya Olson. Special needs teacher Tanya Olson was banned from teaching after causing an autistic student emotional distress. She admitted to releasing a party popper near the student despite knowing he was frightened by loud noises because he was disrupting her class. She then followed him from the room and set off another. While investigating the complaint, she also admitted to eight misconduct offenses involving other students at the T. Gwynn Special Needs School in Cardiff, South Wales. She claimed the incidents were not her fault and asked the National Union of Teachers for a second chance. Despite her pleas, she's been stricken from the teaching registry and banned indefinitely. Timothy Randall Core. 25-year-old Timothy Randall Kaur was a tutor at a Baltimore elementary school until 2016 when he was arrested for assaulting a seven-year-old boy. Kaur was accused of throwing Trayvon Grayson against a wall and beating him. The boy suffered a broken jaw, lost two teeth, and suffered lacerations and bruises. His injuries were so severe that he required surgery. Kaur claims he thought the student had a gun and was bringing him to the principal when the boy began struggling and Kaur lost his balance while carrying him. After reviewing surveillance footage, Kaur was charged with child abuse, reckless endangerment of a minor, and second-degree assault. He could face up to 85 years in jail if convicted and has been fired. Diane Brimble 47-year-old mother of eight, Diane Brimble was a primary school teacher in Australia. Prior to 2013, she was considered a selfless supermom. But after meeting a 10-year-old boy, she became obsessed. He was not only in her class, but also lived in her neighborhood. She tattooed their names and an infinity symbol on her chest and began propositioning the boy who has Asperger's syndrome, asking him to sleep with her and bearing her breasts to him. 
He refused her advances, but she continued to pursue him. The boy began to self-harm and told his parents that she'd put a spell on him. The family decided to move away and Brimble was charged with five counts of indecent acts with a child under 16 and one count of using telecommunications device to groom a child. She pleaded not guilty to all charges, but was only convicted of a single indecent act for hugging and kissing the boy. She was sentenced to 200 hours of community service and was placed on the sex offender registry list for eight years. Yikes, and you thought your teachers were bad. Anyway, to clean your brain out from what you just watched, why not check out another video over at The Richest? While you're here, leave us a comment telling us what you thought, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, and bye bye